What is up everybody? It is Wick here and we are about to start the day, go thrifting, look for some stuff to flip online. First, I got a few eBay sales to ship out. We got this giant robot here, paid $6 for this at a Goodwill and I sold it for $100 plus shipping. Probably could have got another 100 or more if it actually had the remote and I could test it properly. We just sold it as is here and it got 100 bucks. Next, I'm shipping out these V-dubs cars. I paid 99 cents for these at Goodwill. I sold both of them for $28. Here I'm shipping out this Craftsman Crawfoot wrench set. I paid, I think it was $9 for these. I got, I think, 12 of them at Lowe's, and I sold this for $40. I got an ironing board cover. Sold this for $15, but I only paid a dollar for it. Here I have some Build-A-Bear clothes. This is a fly fishing set. I bought a Build-A-Bear and a box of accessories at a garage sale recently for $8. I sold this lot right here for $25. So we're in the green already. We still got the bear and some other clothing. So we're going to make some good profit on that. Been selling through these power cords. I ended up buying over a hundred of these. Only paid a dollar a piece for them. And I'm selling lots of three for $28.95. Sold a couple of these torches. I paid about $8 for them. Sold them for $30 each. And then here I have this vintage SK Tools ratchet set here. I picked this up at Salvation Army, I think, for around $8 and I sold it for $39.95. Then finally, I sold two of these network adapters. I paid $2 a piece for these at Goodwill. I picked up like 17 of these that day, sold them for $20 a piece. So real quick, some people wanted to know how I ship my electronics to Amazon, how I prepare them. Here is a combo unit that I'm getting ready to ship in. You can see I got the remote back there. I got a rubber band around that, the cords, the AV cable. And we got this big bubble wrap and we're just going to wrap it up. Once it's bubble wrapped, I tape each end and then we take the shrink wrap here and I just shrink wrap it. After I got some shrink wrap on it, I put these stickers on there and then I put the FBA label on there and then it's ready to go. I have shipped and sold a lot of units like this. I've never had any complaints of them being damaged or arriving broken. So this is how I ship them. I'm gonna keep doing it this way. So I am now inside of a Goodwill and a new cart rolled out. I love new carts because you never know what you're gonna find. And there's a couple nice board games I found, Arkham Horror, Netrunner, two games that I think I even have on my Amazon wish list for, from some years ago that I just never bought. So kind of awesome to find these on a cart used. They were very clean inside. They had all the, the pieces in like little plastic containers, very well taken care of. So great pickups there. Picked up an incense burner for myself, 99 cents, why not? There's one of those Conair gel and lather warmers heaters could do very well with those on amazon actually uh if they're new uh what is it the lotion ones i sold a lotion dispenser like that recently for over a hundred dollars on amazon that i picked up at goodwill so kind of crazy kind of a, a bolo if you're an amazon seller anyway uh they still sell on ebay you can still make money uh, they just don't sell for that much and we're looking the craft stuff um not seeing anything particularly great um, I'm not a craft person, so I know a few items to look out for, but not a whole lot. Uh, some adult diapers and stuff like that. I usually don't mess with them anymore because it's hard to make profit after the shipping, and I figure people need them uh, more than the little bit of profit I can make. So I found this Jarts item here. It's a game, yard game. I found that in the Sporting Good in cap. $2.99. Decided to grab that because it's worth some money. We are now in a Salvation Army and I'm flipping through the clothing. Look like they put out a new rack. And whoa, what's this? An Air Jordan sweatshirt. I thought this was vintage at first. I started looking at the tag. I'm like, oh, maybe not. I don't think it is. $4.99, but it was half off. So $2.50, I decided to grab it. And yeah, you can make some money on it, even though it's a newer item. And what else we got here? Anything special? I love looking through the jackets, the hoodies, the sweatshirts at thrift stores, looking for that vintage gold. Eddie Bauer, usually don't buy that brand, kind of not great to resell. 
I did buy an Eddie Bauer Goose Down Vest, though. That was pretty good. Uh, country, not sure what that was. Goodwill and Salvation Army get a lot of these Holloway jackets that were donated, and uh, I, I, I hate seeing them there because there's so much of these, like, jackets everywhere. Uh, $19.99, that's a, a bit too high. Some of them probably buy it half off or when it goes to a dollar. A dollar would be a really good deal. Half off would be okay. I think they sell for about $30, $40 uh, max, uh, especially the blank ones. But yeah, passed on them. So yeah, you can see it's very light here as usual in Salvation Army. Not a whole lot of stuff coming out. So anytime we get a new cart or two in the men's section, uh, pretty happy to, to look through and try to see what we can find. So now we are in a thrift store and there's some books, Sesame Street books, vintage. It says right there that it's missing two or three of them, I think. Uh, complete, you maybe sell those for about $40 in good condition complete. I just decided to pass on it since it was, there are some books missing. Shoes here are a dollar. Uh, every now and then come in, there's just some amazing shoe deals. You hit it, but stuff goes very fast at these Goodwills any, or thrift stores, anything good because everything's priced so cheap. Coming over here and, whoa, wobbly camera. Looking through the toys and yeah, I think I picked up some decent toys at this thrift store and another thrift store, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know where that footage is. I had footage from another Goodwill and thrift store. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, it just happens sometimes you lose stuff or you accidentally delete it. Uh, yeah, so we're just on the floor here digging at this thrift store. Some weights, priced fair. Maybe should have got those since so I've started lifting some weights again. But yeah, we're just uh, not seeing a whole lot. There's a little vase. I was supposed to look out for those for my mom for a ceiling fan. And there's one. Um, probably should have paid more attention to that. That's unfortunate. We found some great items. Let me go over them. Uh, let's just start with this weird thing I picked up at the thrift store. I think it's some sort of bacteria or something like that. Uh, when I looked up the comps, they were talking about pharmaceutical promotion thing. Um, not sure exactly what it is, but I did see that this guy was selling for about $14.95. This pillow was listed for 20 bucks plus shipping. And that was the only information about the pillow. No solds, no other listings, just one for $20 plus shipping. So I'm probably just gonna price these $24.99 together plus shipping. Uh, I paid a dollar for it, so why not? They're very clean. And then right under, we got some of these Puma work safety shoes. They look like they've probably only been worn maybe once. And I've picked these up before in the past. I can't remember what I ended up selling them for, but it looked like I can probably price these at about $50 plus shipping. They got the steel toe or the composite toe. So yeah, really nice pickup. Picked up a pair of Sperry Gold Cup shoes. Don't pick up Sperry's very often, but when I do, I like to pick up unique, good condition, br uh, not brand, but good condition style or model. The Gold Cups do pretty well. I should be able to sell these for about $30 plus shipping. Crazy pickups in the thrift store today. 50 cents for these t-shirts. Cincinnati Bengals vintage. I don't know the year on this one, but it is amazing single stitch. They are all single stitch i believe there's the tag maybe never worn this one right here i'm going to price up quite a bit i say this with my vintage clothing especially when i can't find comps like this one this stuff i'm just going to price high and let it sit i have no problem letting it appreciate over the years if no one wants to you know pay 40 dollars for this t-shirt that's fine but that's probably what i'm going to price this one at is 40. this one right here is nice as well and uh 50 cents did i mention that's all they are these are all logo seven t-shirts i believe they're all single stitch maybe not that, that one's double that's probably a 20 25 dollar shirt and you got this one very clean uh this one was i believe 90 it said yeah 1990 well 1990 champs there 20 25 dollar shirt so great pickups there and then we got this pendleton flannel 100 percent wool been a while since I've come across any of these, and uh, I saw some comps that were kind of confusing to me. They were calling them board shirts, and the tags, of course, the older the tag is, the better the shirt's going to be, uh, the wool items. I'm pretty sure my tag's old, you know, I'm no Pendleton expert or anything, 
and the some of the comps being in the hundreds just really confusing to me let me know uh why some of these are selling in the hundreds most of the pendletons i picked up in the past you know you're looking at 35 40 50 dollars just depends on the style it's in good condition i couldn't find any holes in it and you know minimum i'm pricing this at 50 dollars unless i determine that you know it's, it's worth more than that got this air jordan hoodie I thought this was going to be vintage at first, and I started looking at the tag, I'm like, oh, not really, not that old. If you look these up, they're selling on eBay for about $60, $70 brand new. I don't think there are any pre-owned listed, but yeah, I think I can list this for 30 bucks. Someone's gonna buy it. Uh, it's very clean, I don't see any damage on it, so again, half off on this as well, $2.50. Back here, I picked up these jarts. <laughs> Uh, if you ever come across the ones with the metal tips, I guess they were outlawed, I guess is the correct term. Uh, you can't buy them anymore. Stores won't sell them because the, they're dangerous, I guess. And eBay won't allow you to sell them, but you can sell them on Facebook Marketplace. And unless they've changed that recently, you can sell them for pretty good. 40 to 60 sometimes $70 I've seen them sell for on Facebook Marketplace. These are brand new. The box has some wear. Uh, I think they were selling for about $20 plus shipping. They were only $2.99. Got this Conair gel and lather heating system. Uh, I sold a lotion heater Conair recently for over $100 new on Amazon. This is new inside, but the box does have a little bit of wear. And you know what? I, I don't know what I'll sell this for. You can't sell it used on Amazon because it's in health and beauty and you just can't sell things used in health and beauty. It's not an option. You know, eBay, you're looking at about 25 bucks. Uh, plus shipping, so you know what? I'll have to figure it out. Picked up a soap dispenser at the thrift store for a dollar. It's going to be an easy $12 FBA. Didn't even have to look it up when I found it. It's just like, you know what? It's oil red bronze. That's that's going to make money. Then down here, I got this GE micro cassette recorder and uh, paid 50 cents for this at the thrift store. I should be able to sell it no problem. $24.99 if it works. Paid up a little for this, I guess. Funko verse game. $4.99, it's been opened, but the pieces kind of look like maybe they've never been used. They're in plastic bags. I'm not sure how they come exactly. Not a whole lot of money in this. They only sell for about $20 new, but had a lot of positive reviews, so it must be a fun game, strategy game. I just like, I'll just buy it and throw it in the collection and try it sometime. For $0.50 cents at the thrift store, I picked up this vintage 70s cootie game. It sells for about $25 to $30. Unfortunately, it did not have this free play mobile figure inside that I saw anyway, but it did have another cootie game in a bag tied up. So I shouldn't have any problem getting all the pieces for this, and we'll sell it for, I believe it was $25 plus shipping. Then below is a lineup game, $3.99. Looks like it's never been used inside all the pieces, and I'll make about $15 profit selling this on Amazon. Looking over here, we got uh, an Olympus Stylus Zoom. It's been a, a few months since I've come across one of these. I've found a few in the past, different ones. Stylus Infinity, Stylus Epic are the better ones. This is still a great camera. It was $3 at the thrift store, you can see there. And I'll have no problem selling this for $80 plus shipping. I sell them a, a bit less than what they actually sell for because I, I don't film test them. I'll just test them everything else I can test and just say not film tested. Price at $80 that they'll sell in a day. Picked up some awesome board games. Arkham Horror board game for $4.99. And Netrunner, the card game for $4.99. Netrunner pre-owned is about a $50, $60 game, it's looking like. Arkham Horror, this is the third edition. Um, so it's only about $30, I think. I'm probably just going to put these in my board game collection as well. I've actually played Arkham Horror before. Uh, been some years now, I guess, when it first came out. The first edition you know, it sells for a bit more. But I'll throw a number on the screen for all those interested if I sell them how much profit that'll be. Picked up this perfect plant cover, cross stitch thing, uh, brand new sealed. This is a great brand because I've sold some of this stuff in the 50s, 60s, some Christmas ones. You know this one, I couldn't find any comps on Amazon, on eBay. I don't know what it's actually worth. Looks like it sold for $9.97. I'm going to price it 30 bucks since there's no, no one else selling it. If it sells, great. If not, eventually I'll lower the price and I'm sure it will sell. Up here, I got this Bumblebee Transformer. I think it's from Transformers Dark Moon series. Uh, 50 cents is why I bought it. Sells for about $25 shipped. So, you know what? It should ship first class. Oh, how heavy are you? Yeah, this thing's pretty light. I think it'll ship for a pound. In the end, I'll make a $10 bill on it. Got this 
factory stereo replacement interface, $299. Unfortunately, it looks like it has been opened. Otherwise, it'd be an easy $30 sale. Still though, pre-owned, I should be able to sell this $20, $25. One sold for that. If it's actually in there, I don't know what's in there. It could be anything. So we'll get it opened and looked at. If it's not what it seems to be, I'll return it and get my $2.99 back. Right below it, I found another sealed Wii Crafts at that Goodwill. Must have been all donated from the same person over the past couple weeks. I've just been finding stuff there. This is the Christmas one. Looks like it sells for about $30 plus shipping. For $0.50 cents at the thrift store, I picked up a bag of toys so I could get this dinosaurs figure from the 90s. Uh, that show did not last very long, did it? But... Everyone seems to remember it. I also wasn't aware it was a Disney show. I, at least the toy says Disney. Anyway, out of that bag, this was really the only thing. You got a couple of Luigi's there. I thought they were McDonald's, and they are. I just wasn't 100% sure on them. They're from 89. There's some comps where they sold $6 free shipping. I'm probably not going to bother selling them. But this one I'll sell for $15. Should get a pretty easy sale. The next, I got this garage door clicker interface that goes on a wall. $2 is what I paid for it. Looks like I can sell this for about $28. Used on Amazon, and according to this, it's never been used. Or it says used, $15. Bought new, never. I guess bought new, never used, $15. I think that's supposed to be up there, maybe? I don't know what's going on there. Either way, $2. We're going to make some money. Got some vintage caps. These are nice. Buddy L, and these things are pretty good to look out for. I guess kind of a, a mini bolo, right? You see this stuff, you wouldn't think it's worth a lot, but it's hard to find these now. I don't know 100% for sure, but I don't even know if they sell them in stores anymore. You'll have to let me know in the comments. These particular ones, uh, yeah, 30 some dollars for I think three packs of these. The other ones uh, don't sell for as much. I'm just going to lot them all together. Probably price them about $30 plus shipping, 99 cents a piece. At the thrift store for 50 cents, I picked up this mini make and break. I think the make and break large version is a pretty valuable game to sell on Amazon. So I just grabbed this and sure enough, it's not listed anywhere. <laughs> so I'm probably going to price it 20 bucks. When there's no comps, it's, it's just hard to hard to know how something like this is going to sell. Back here, we got this Winnie the Pooh wall cut out wood things for a child's room. $2.99 at Salvation Army. You know, in the end, I'm going to make $10 profit on it. I picked up these Dungeons and Dragons figures, and I didn't even look them up because I knew I was buying them regardless. You know what? They sell for $4.95 on Amazon, but I didn't necessarily buy them to resell. Um, they're just going to go with the rest of my Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Then these are pretty interesting. These Kinley Players booklets from the 70s. The earliest one, I think, is from 71. And the comps on these, you know, a few of them sold in a lot for $35 on auction. And there's another person. The only other ones listed is from this person that I saw. I wanted $33 a piece for them. I think they had 20 or 30 listed. I was thinking maybe just list all these for $20 a piece and just kind of do a long tail thing. But he's like, I don't know, just list them all together maybe price them fifty dollars i don't know what i'll do because i could make like probably over three hundred dollars selling them at like twenty dollars a piece however it would take years for these to sell probably so i think i'm just going to do a lot of all of them and we'll probably make i'd say at least 75 dollars on them but there it is everybody there's the haul for today some awesome thrift finds gonna make some good profit on this stuff if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that like button be subscribed. I know you hear every YouTuber say this, but actually go do it. It really does help a lot. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. This has been Wick. Until next time.